Hello, fellow sim magicians, and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about this: the sequential shifter. Now, sequential shifters has become a bit of a buzz phrase in the sim racing community, and it's not difficult to see why. They're widely implemented on race cars, and they are very satisfying to use. But why is that? Well, today we're going to dive in onto the structure of a sequential shifter and why do they give a such a satisfying feeling. So, before we get into why sequential shifters feel so good, we need to understand the differences between a normal edge pattern shifter and a sequential shifter. For a normal edge pattern shift, it has multiple selectors, and each selector is connected with two selector forks. And when shifting, it will first disengage a gear first before it engages to another gear. And it also has a single mac mechanic, which allows it to have smoother ride while changing gears, and also it generates a lot less noise. Conversely, for sequential shifters, it's using a star gear connecting to a single connector rod with multiple selector forks attached. And what it allows is that it allows gears to be disengaged and engaged at the same time, allowing for quicker shifting. And it's also using a dock ring instead of using a single mesh, which has a larger gear slot, allowing gears to be engaged without a clutch. And the benefits that it gets, it's very obvious. It allows for quicker shifting and also prevents the driver from shifting into the wrong gear, like you would do on a edge pattern shifter. But the downside it brings are also very prevalent. It is very rough on the ride, and it also generates a lot of noise from the gearbox. And since every time you engage a gear, it's practically the dock ring smashing onto the gears, it also has a lot less durability. So what creates that feeling in shifting on the sequential shifter? Well, like we just mentioned, when shifting, the dock ring is going to engage the gear by smashing into the gear that you're trying to engage. And that smash is going to create a pulse, which is going to be transferred directly back to the shifting handle, creating that knock that you associate with a sequential shifter. And in order to create that knock on a real car sequential shifter, in our case, on the Q1S and the Q1 shifter, we have a very similar mechanism to that of a real car. We have the shifting handle, a selector, and a star gear. And the difference being that on the real car, it's a dock ring engages a gear. Here we have a star wheel engages with a stopper over here, creating that tension in the real gearbox. And we're creating that knock by using the slot design on a star gear and the stopper creating that tension. And when shifting, that stopper is going to stop the gear to engage and creating that tension. And when it slots into the next slot on the star gear, it's going to release that tension and creating that knock that you will associate with a real car sequential shifter. And that is a reason why we specifically use this mechanism on our sequential shifters. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow us on various social media platforms if you haven't already. I'm Alvin, and this is Tech Tuesday, and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, keep racing, sim magicians.